What's up guys, welcome back at my cave reef and as I promised this is a second part to how I build my manifold in my filter room to feed more reactors and filters with one pump. So let's get to it and take a look what I did over here. Uh, here it is my uh, filter room, quote unquote room, it's just a closet that I stacked up my sump and did all my plumbing to through the wall and to my display tank. So here it what it looks like right as we speak. With a new manifold connected. So on the right over here we have the, uh, the pump to a T that runs to my UV light and my carb my calcium reactor. Towards the wall, we have one, two, and on the bottom over here we have three more things that we can connect to. The first one on the right is basically a valve and I can drain the water out of my sump directly to my house sump and get rid of the dirty water. Sometimes the water gets really dirty, the sump gets dirty and it's really hard to get get to it and clean it so this is a perfect opportunity that I had to make a little adjustment those tips that I'm using on my manifold basically are exchangeable I can replace them I can change them up to like a push-in or anything else that I will need my reactors to fit so a little teflon and I'll screw them in and that would work for what I will need needed so if I will need more cushions I'll use these if I will need like hose clamps and stuff I'll just unscrew it and put the new ones in uh, that's about it that's how it's made it wasn't too bad the only concern that I have that the part plumbed to my pump and it gives a little vibration so I can hear, hear a buzzing noise. It's not too bad. Uh, I'll deal with it eventually. If I'll do, I'll let you guys know how and what I did because I think I'm gonna have to cut that pipe and do something with it. But that's down the road. Right now, I don't think I'm good. So here it is going up. Here's the uh, algae scrubber, the dozer, RODI, we have a uh, RO top of five gallon bucket with uh, calc water in it and a uh, big bin with water. Float switch and the pump has a little key over here and if that valve is open it's mixing the water inside the container. When I close it, it pumps out the water through and it goes to my sump or it can go directly to my tank so that's about it it wasn't too hard to make I'm a really big fan of those balls they're very precise you can control them very nicely the fittings are perfect there's no leaks everything worked at the first try I didn't have a problem with anything. So I'm very happy how it turned out. So here, take a look at it. So this is how I made my manifold. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching another one of my videos. Appreciate every one of you. And if you have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comments below. Alright? So have a good one and I'm out. Catch you on the next one.